All right, hello everyone, it's Professor Ina 95 So today, uh, we'll be looking through, okay, looking into a little bit of an unboxing called the Quick Start Dex. So obviously, uh, this is like a trial deck slash start deck, however you want to call it. I just want to call it like, like a trial deck or something like that because it is a fully constructed deck. But um, one thing that is really interesting about this uh, product in general is that majority of the uh, cards in here is purely vanilla, so the only cards that have like um, uh, like skills is only the Vanguard as also, as well as the PGs. So of course, uh, this is a newly released product which will be released on the 19th, uh, 19th of January. So I'm recording this on the 18th. If I got this beforehand, um, just because I pre-ordered uh, two of them. I actually didn't buy one. I bought two. So yeah, because why not, right? Um, <clears throat> What else can I say? Well, technically speaking, this is a very uh, this is just for to I would say like in conjunction with like the new uh, season of like Vanguard, like uh, Divine Z, which is like technically still in the D season, so like uh, D series, so it's not technically a reboot per se. But we have like um, six new uh, start decks, uh, which of course I'm getting dark states, uh, as well as the other nations, which is like Kata Sanctuary. Uh, Dragon Empire, Stoikia, Lyrico, and Run Gate. So of course, um, five other nations you can get it. But for me, I just really didn't want to spend like a lot on this one. And not to mention, I don't really play those nations. But if you really want to get um, one of these uh, SDs or like the, you know uh, one of these quick start decks, they cost only about like thirty ringgit each. So pretty okay-ish. Um, it's a little bit tad more expensive than our previous uh, start decks in the others. You know in the previous season but I would say that it's it's still fine in a sense but yeah considering like what they are trying to release in this deck it could be very um, useful it could be very you know very beneficial uh, like if you're looking for like effect triggers or if you're looking for like PGs uh, and you're looking for like triggers and new vanguard to play with etc this is the best uh, starting product for you because this is like uh, what Bushy World was trying to roll out was that uh, it's like a beginner deck for like actual beginners so that's why I say like in the beginning of this video this deck is like this kind of decks are purely vanilla so nothing else added into it with the skills other than um, than your PGs and your Vanguard. So yeah, so first off, right off the bat, um, so this is a very rather interesting packaging because um, it kind of reminds me of the Bahasa packaging that we got, um, you know, in, in the Bahasa versions where they have the box ones and not the transparent, um, not the transparent boxes that we got for like the previous SDs. So right here we have the like the Vanguard here, which is also Rajas. So we have the quick, uh, you know, the quick start deck, and then you have the Vanguard over here. You have here, and then yeah, nothing much on the side. Uh, it's just just some decorations and a lot decoration like um, uh, manufacturing stuff and all that details. So another like quick start deck here. So of course, um, for me personally, I think I'm rather happy to get this on uh, on the hand I'm like very excited to get this because I may never know if I get Sanctitude or not so we have just have to see then well without further ado I'm not gonna waste any more time let's get straight into the box opening so technically I have to open two so let's see what I got all right so see you on the next segment all right so let's get straight into the deck opening so <clears throat> right so i'm gonna clear my throat for a bit because i have to talk a lot so okay so this uh the back here is the contents so we have like 55 cards over here and then we have two pr cards one playmat uh one teaching instructions one energy generator and as well as one fighter coins uh which we're gonna get straight into what it does so let's see over here we can open it up here and then we can oh okay all right so that's what we're gonna get so this is the teaching instructions so this is the one where we get like all of like the rule book in a sense uh how to play this game etc so that's about uh it so fanga don't asobi kata all right so here and then we have the playmat um so nothing fancy about the playmat but what is very interesting about the playmat is that 
um, they give you like a lot of like instructions as to like how do you like where's the Vanguard Circle, where's the Rearguard Circle, where's the Guardian Circle etc. So the deck here and then we have the additional crest zone which will be like uh, the ones where we can put the, uh, the crest uh, etc. So there's that, uh, here's the playmat. Okay, so pretty cool. Nothing on the back is all blank sheets. So yeah, but a playmat is still a playmat nonetheless, but it's not very too fancy. Uh, then again, it's meant for beginners. So it's not... Um, so if for well, like some people who are like veterans, then I, I know this product is probably not for you. But then again, uh, it's meant for the ease of like... Um, <clears throat> I would say like the beginners who wants to actually want to learn this game and they just want to understand like how this uh, some of the things work etc and after that we have the the count the counters coins I would say like so here's the energy uh, which will be like the energy generator stuff plus 10 plus 10k plus 10k plus one crate plus one crate nothing on the back so it's like pretty blank but yeah it's still still nice I would say. Uh, because you're gonna use this for the uh, energy counter later, which is not that bad, so that's um, that's kind of good. Uh, just to mark it out. <clears throat> All right, so oh boy, my voice is getting ras a little bit raspy. All right, so here's the deck. Uh, they just like just wrap it on like on, on like all that stuff. Uh, so we have what we have here is also Rajas. So also Rajas is a pretty pretty interesting um, deck over here. We have like the PGs and uh, and the whole deck in, in general. But let's get into also Rajas because also Rajas uh, skill and is pretty interesting because the skill is act uh, Vanguard once per turn. Uh, Condom last one you search your deck for up to the one card with the same uh, card with the same name as this unit uh, and add it to your hand. And during this turn, this unit plus ten k. So this first skill applies to all of the bosses in the new start deck so whether or not you're playing captors Stoikia, Lyrical, etc uh, the first skill is very generic and applies to all of the bosses in the nations and so uh, continue not continuous uh, auto Vanguard Riga skill when this unit attacks you energy blast 4 we get straight into what the energy blast 4 is gonna do um, if you energy blast 4 then choose one great tree or less card from your soul and call it to a rearguard circle and that uh, during this turn it gets plus 10k right uh, so uh, that's about what he does so which means that you can do at least minimum four attacks so that's very interesting and you notice here that there's this like one number over here and if we go on to the rest of the deck we uh, see there's a number three there's a number two there's a number one right uh, so all of these numbers were meant to be like some sort of like a um, teaching fight which like very structured like when you take a damage when you drive check uh, it, it, it kind of like helps you to, uh, to guide the players as to like what's the mechanics behind it um etc so like that's how the that's how it's supposed to be it's like well, when you're playing that um when you're like basically if i can give you an example like your closest example will be like you're playing the league battle decks for like the uh, for pokemon i think it's like for the for family ones for like for kids um they usually have like numbers next to the pokemons uh or something along those lines so that it's easier for them to like uh, keep track or like what they are supposed to do next right so okay so this is the starter again um there's no skill it's rather blank it's rather vanilla so great one and then there's a great two um the it's also important to note that all of this right line will get a skill in the next booster or so um and so that's about it. So we have the energy generator with the energy crest. I think I have covered this in the previous news. Uh, this is the, the energy generator uh, which we have uh, go through last time. So the skill is pretty interesting. So uh, uh, like auto on the right deck, uh, when, you, when you write, uh, you can get this one, uh, you can get this crest, and if you went second, you get to energy, uh, energy charge tree, right? So it's a different alternate uh, form of like resources uh, for you to pay. Um, then um, you can only have up to 10 en uh, gen uh, energy only, which is a continuous, and then auto skill uh, at the beginning of your right phase, you can get to do energy charge tree, which is pretty cool. And then uh, uh, like act once per turn, you energy blast seven, and then you could get to draw one. So like pretty cool, this will be uh this will be standardized in like all the decks uh, in D moving forward so like we have changed the format into like 50, uh, 50 main uh, like from 46 main deck to 50 main deck so uh, of course in addition to this we can get the crest energy generated crest so uh that's about it so all the sds will come with this so that's about it 
Alright, now moving on, we have the rest of the Osara just over here. Uh, you notice that there's like like one like one number here. Um, did they only give me three? No, right? They are actually no. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure there's four, isn't it? Like PG is like, is it the PG? Oh wait, no. Oh ah, dang it. Ah right 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 right. I have to I have to go through this. All right. So apparently, uh, if you look at the very last the last three cards of the deck, the the very last card is your energy counter, which is used to measure your energy, um, etc. So means means that you need to like when if you say that uh you energy charge three, you can move from like zero to three, and then uh beginning of your right phase, you can move to six. And then uh, the next one, you get 9, and then you energy plus 7, and then you go back to 2, etc. So, uh, yeah, it, it has the Vanguard back as well, which is really interesting. Um, so, yeah, this is your energy generator, and this is how you calculate your energy, etc. But, like, uh, like every start decks, um, they will have a chance for you to rather to get a Elementaria, or you just get the PG. So, in this case, I only get a PG. And one random effect uh, trigger. So this time around, I got a crit. Uh, I sadly I get a. Uh, I actually wanted a draw actually, but never mind. A crit is still fine. Um, yeah. So that's about it. Where's my fourth copy? I think it's gonna be here somewhere, right? I think it's, it's a little bit dispersed, but that's okay. Um, yeah. So that's about it. All right. So we have the great tree over here. Very vanilla-ish. Nothing special. Then we have the great two. This will be have a skill later on. Um, in the near future, in future boosters, this this one does as well. Um. Okay, yeah, uh, Aizu is uh, definitely a vanilla because when he first came out in uh, Bruce SD, he, he is a vanilla card. Um, yeah, I think this one also has a skill, I think. Um, this one also does have a skill, like if you counter blast one, like when this unit boosts a vanguard, I think, or this unit boosts or you counter blast one or energy blast four to draw one plus five, I think. I'm not, I'm not too sure, I don't remember. Uh, this one does have a skill, but like they don't have like... Um, yeah, I'm not gonna like reprint the skill, uh, like reprint this card again, but they just reprint it in a vanilla form, which is like pretty nice in a sense. Uh, we have three PGs over here. Uh, Miranda, uh, Miranda is here. Um, uh, then we have the the crits actually. So it's a direful doll. Uh, Bethany, yeah, Bethany. Uh, yeah, it's Bethany. So it's a crit. Very nice. A uh, very nice direful dolls, which is pretty good because like this Thursday, like this like coming Thursday ish. Uh, like technically like tonight, we're gonna have like a new, um, what you call that, the new, uh, Daiofu Dollmaster boss, uh, coming up, so, which is cool. Uh, we have the vanilla draws, and then we have the gear, gear links, it's a front trigger, and then we have like, uh, Kelmoon-ish, like, a uh, heel trigger, okay, so it's not a Daiofu Doll or whatsoever. And the rest, they have the like the numbers similar to what I've like mentioned. So we have like also regis. So technically, we have like four of them, uh, four also regis in this deck. And then the rest is just basically like the triggers, as such, uh, like the triggers, the PGs, and uh, the vanillas with these uh, numbers. Uh, so that you can like keep track of like not not to say keep track is like just to have like a uh, how you say uh much more un to understand the flow of the game better in a sense. Uh, if like it's if that's how I want to explain it. Uh, so that's it. So there's like all the numbers here, etc, etc. So three, two, and one. All right. So that's <laughs> so that's that's about it. So that's how the uh, so that's the whole SD is. Um, didn't really want to buy the other, the rest of the other nations, but yeah, I I I'm, I just want to have dark states. I just didn't want to have like abundance of like useless cards, you know. Um, so because like technically speaking, they're all vanilla cards, right? So yeah, that's about it, right? So the guide, the the coins, etc. Uh, the playmat. We're not gonna build into that. So yeah, we're gonna open this up. And then we're not gonna look at the back of the three cards, but mostly I think I would do. Okay, we know this will be an energy generator, so I just want to curious for like what I'm gonna get, right? Um, the rest is just the same, I guess. Um, they are all they like the energy generator. They're all the same, so nothing fancy, I assume. Okay, right. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. All right. Uh, let's see what I get. The first one, or maybe I should like, maybe I should like do this. Okay. I know it's a trigger, but like, oh my gosh, no, oh no, okay, right, uh, it's an effect front and a PG, I thought I could get an effect, oh, I thought I could get an effect PG, uh, like, no, yeah, get an elementaria, okay, turns out it's not, so yeah, too bad, 
Um, yeah, it's actually like two. Yeah, it's like PG, one crit, one front. Okay, sure, it's not that bad, but okay, I'll take it. It's not in fact draw, but. Yeah, oh well, oh well, that's it is what it is. So this uh okay, well then again, um this is all you get from this uh deck set, like the like not this deck set, this the like uh uh start deck. So that's all vanillas and the only skills that you have is just basically the Vanguard and the PGs, and you know that's about it. And of course, not to mention that you get the energy generator as well, right? So that's one thing. And the thing about like this, um, this token over here, this generator was meant for you to place on top of your uh, energy energy counter. And then let's say, uh, if it's the beginning of your right phase, then you can move to three, and then move to six, and then move to nine, and then if you energy plus seven, go back to two. So it's basically what this thing does, you know. Uh, it's kind of nice, I would say, kind of neat. Um, but yeah, okay, so final conclusion, should you get this uh, start deck? Well, um, I have the pros, let's start off with the pros first, of course. Um, the pros is that you will get like a new set of like Vanguard, you get a you know, new Vanguard to play with, to experiment with. Uh, you know, to experiment with. Uh, other than that, you know, in the near future, they probably will give this or all of the main bosses uh, supports. And so it's not um, you know it's not too bad to uh, you know to have it on standby first if you want to like build this deck in the near future which is kind of good uh second thing is that it's the mo one of the most easiest way for you to get the crest as well because like this crest will be uh, like moving on in the d series this will be a must have in almost every single deck will every deck in d will play this um definitely so this is the if you really want to get it uh, the sds are the one of the better ways the one of the i think the for now the only way for you to get the crest as well as the energy counters uh, so if you don't want to use this energy counters they said that they will have like other promo cards um, which are the energy cards uh, it's kind of like similar to Pokemon um, but of course it's a little bit of hassle because like you have to make your you, you will never fit it into your deck so it's it's gonna be very bit hard uh, so the energy counters is like right there for you to keep track of it so it's pretty good um, not to mention that every uh, SDs is going to give you a uh, effect PG, uh, real effect PG, or like any uh, random uh, effect trigger such as like quit front or draw. So in any case, that if you get hit an elementaria, you pretty much set because elementaria right now is like around like ninety ringgit at the most cheapest ones. Um, but now hopefully the price is gonna get dropped. Uh, otherwise, and you know, and not to mention that you have like uh, effect uh, triggers for you to like put in into like some of your other decks that really need them so yeah pretty good uh, I might put this crit into my Unica otherwise you know um, France I'm not sure maybe in my Bruce perhaps I don't know I'll, or any other decks that actually need France but yeah um, pretty good I would say not that not that bad I'm, I'm happy with it um, yeah uh, other than that uh, your triggers are definitely a must have because like right now we are lacking in like a lot of triggers in general, especially at critical triggers, because right now they have like new arts or new uh, illustrations. So probably like for decks such as like uh, Chaos might need them because of like the 13 different card names in the soul, um, which is pretty nice, pretty good. Um, can't complain. You also get the PG as well, but then the PG is like um, it's always a must-have. So yeah, I mean it's a PG is still a PG, but then it's just a vanilla PG. So that, I mean yeah, that's about it. Alright, so I think I can uh, end this video. Uh, of course, uh, before that, I, I only talk about the pros, right? Okay, well, the cons, well, the, it's pretty obvious. For 30 ringgit, for you to pay like all vanilla deck is just not worth it. Um, so technically, in essentially a sense, it's just we are spending like 30 ringgit to gacha for these two cards only. So whether or not you get Elementarial Sanctitude or you get an Effect Drawer or something along like the trigger that you need, it's... Mm, yeah, it's it's basically just gacha paying thirty ringgit to for you to gacha uh, uh, elementaria. So eh, eh, all right, I can't complain, I guess. So other than that, it's just basically just playing all vanillas. But I think it's better than nothing. And also like they have triggers for like new trigger arts. So I think that's I think that's it. And well, not to mention that you get the crest and the energy counter. So I think that's pretty good enough in a sense. So uh. Yeah, I think if you really want to like get into Vanguard, 
um, this could be like a good opportunity for you to pick it up uh, uh, in your you know local card stores or whatsoever um, and if like you want to pre-order it on or you want to order or pre-order it on like Lazada, Shopee etc feel free to do so um, other than that I think this deck is like really really for beginners if you really want to get into like jump straight into Vanguard and you just don't know how to play it I think this would be like a bad uh, I mean like this would be like one of the best uh, starting products for you to start with like teaching like um, teaching yourself or like teaching other people to play Vanguard um, in general so that's pretty that's pretty much about it and yeah uh, I think I think I can end this video if you do enjoy my contents uh, click like and subscribe and I am going to cook with this deck. I'll see you guys on the next video. This has been Professor Inox095 saying out. Bye bye. Woo.